The last four weeks for Chicago Robinson and Washington have been pretty good. After losing to Philly, they bounced back with three wins in a row. That put Washington at 5-3, and three, but still in last place of their division. The front office expected Chicago to turn this franchise around immediately and improve on last year's six-win season. The goal was clear. Win two more games at least this season, or the front office would release Chicago. So that brings us to the first matchup of this episode, traveling down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Third and six, looking to avoid a three and out on the opening possession. Chicago, he's going to step up and slide forward. He would pick up the first down, third and four. Again, looking to convert, rolling out to his left on the run. Chicago, he's going to throw. That's completed to Santana Moss for a first down. 17-yard pickup. That would set up first and 10 from the Miami 34. Now a quick halfback screen. He gets it off just barely in time. As that would bring up now a third and three as we move to the second quarter. Play action to Williams. Robinson, he's going to try to step up, but pressure closes in on him, and he goes down for a sack. As we move now, less than a minute to go here in the first half, and another sack for Robinson. That O-line has not been giving him any favors this year so far. At third and 19, that's almost intercepted. And we would move to the second half down by four, seven to three. Robinson's going to start off the second half with a completion to Armstrong, setting up a third and seven, looking to convert again. Back to throw, Robinson. All day in the pocket for once. That's completed to Moss. As that would bring up fourth and four. Coach wants to go for it. Keeping the offense on the field. Armstrong with the completion and the first down. Second end goal now from the nine. Robinson back to throw. Gets it off just in time to his tight end Davis for the first touchdown. And Washington would take a 10-7 lead here. Looking to increase on that. A great pass here to Moss along the right sideline from Chicago. As that would bring up first and goal from the nine to the end zone. And it's Armstrong with a touchdown. As that would do it for this one, we would end up walking away from Miami with a win. So after that win, we have tied last year's win total of six. That just means one more win for Washington and they won't move on from Robinson. As our next game is against our rival Dallas at home. And let's hope it goes better than our matchup with them earlier this season. Starting out second and four here. Setting up a halfback screen that's going to be completed to Terrain. He breaks one tackle. He has some room to run and he's going to pick up 18 yards. As that would set up first and 10 from the 46 play action. Robinson on the run completes it to Davis. He has a first down. As Washington moves into Dallas territory, Robinson back to throw. Pressure coming. He gets it off in time to Davis again for another first down. From the 11 now, setting up a halfback screen, and it's going to Williams. He has some blocks. He sheds one tackle and finds his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Second and nine now. Dallas did not score, so we're still up 7-0. Hit as Robinson throws, but it's completed to Banks, and he's going to take this all the way to the house for another touchdown. And Washington would be up 14, but would give up the lead. It's tied at 14 apiece now here. As just over two and a half minutes to go. Robinson looking to give his team the lead. Going across the middle to Santana Moss. And he has it falling down in the end zone. 21 to 14. We would hold on to that lead. Robinson would take a knee. And Washington is going to get revenge on their rivals. The Dallas Cowboys. As they're going to walk out of here with a victory. 21 to 14. And Robinson would be named the player of the game. For the first time in his career. So we have officially met our rookie season goal with that win with seven wins on the season that means we get another year in Washington let's see if we can keep this win streak alive with a win here in rainy Seattle second and nine play action Robinson met immediately from the defensive pressure so they would go three and out Seattle would strike first seven nothing Robinson back to throw he's going right side that's going to be completed to Williams on an out route for a first down just under 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Washington is still yet to score, and Robinson going down for another sack. His offensive line has really been struggling these past few weeks so far, as again, the pressure gets to him. Forcing an incomplete on that throw, second and 10 now. Robinson, he's going right side. That's completed to Williams for a first down. Looking to try to tie the ball game up here. Second and eight, Robinson checking down to Williams again. He has another first down for this offense. Furthest they've got into Seattle territory. A quick throw to Davis, and he secures it for a Washington touchdown to tie this game up at seven. So we would go to overtime. First and 10 play action. 
Pressure coming and they're going to get to Robinson again. That sack would knock them out of field goal range and on third and 17, another sack on Robinson by the Seattle defensive line. Ultimately, Seattle would force a punt and they would go down to score and take the victory over Washington here in Seattle. So like it's always been this year, we can't stay winning for very long. But at least we've met our rookie goal of seven wins on the season. That currently puts us at seven and four on the year in third place in the NFC East division. Let's try to make it eight and four as we take on the New York Jets. Second and 10, Robinson dropping back to throw. He's gonna go across the middle. That's completed Santana Moss. Fresh set of downs, Robinson back to throw. All day in the pocket. Great protection as that's completed to Armstrong down the left sideline. Moving into New York territory, first and 10. Robinson is going to step up. He has some room to run, and he's going to pick up the first down. Second and one, back to throw. He's going to lob it over the shoulder to Armstrong into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. As they would strike first and go up 7-0. Just over a minute to go here as Washington looking to extend this lead. 49 seconds to go. Robinson in the shotgun. Back to throw. Pressure coming from his left side. He dumps it off right to Davis who has a first down. Into New York territory. Robinson stepping up. He's going to take it himself. He has the first down. Down to the 16 yard line. And Washington would call a timeout and settle for a field goal. As look at this. Terrain. Hurtling over a defender, breaking a tackle, and with no one in front of him, he's going to take this all the way, 69 yards to the end zone. As with just over 10 seconds to go in the third quarter, Robinson connects to Armstrong but takes a hit. Big play down the right side as we move to the fourth quarter. And again, Robinson escaping the pressure. He's going to step up, break one tackle, and pick up the first down on his feet. Third and 14 now for Washington. Robinson again is going to escape the pocket, and he's going to use his own two feet, picking up the first down. Over 65 yards on the day for him on the ground. Third and 12. That's not going to convert. But it would not matter as Washington is going to pick up their eighth win of the season as they win this one over the Jets. And for the second time this year as well, Chicago Robinson walks home with player of the game. So even at 8-4, that's still only good enough for third place in the NFC East. Through his first 12 games so far, Robinson has looked good. A 143 passer rating with just over 1,900 yards, 20 touchdowns, and two interceptions. And with the training points earned in the past four weeks, Robinson maxed out his play action ability. With four games to go in the season and two of them being divisional, we'll see if a rookie quarterback can make the playoffs here with Washington.